Hi guys, it's me Megan Hashem and today I'm coming at you with a kind of tutorial, tips, ideas on how to make your own don't rush challenge. I will do a separate video on how to do your specific, just your personal don't rush piece to the don't rush video that you're in maybe but right now i wanted to talk about how to put one together with a group of friends co-workers team whatever you want to do i've put together a few over the past month or so through this whole coronavirus stay at home situation and i've actually been so surprised at how connected you can feel to people in a group by doing one of these you'd think like oh whatever they're sending you videos you're putting a video together it's kind of normal for me editing videos and stuff like that but just all the connecting that happens when you talk to all these people I did a belly dance one i did my hockey team i also did international hockey women around the world and i've met so many amazing people and reconnected with people that i thought i'd just let you guys know in case you're interested in doing this with any of your peeps like um if you're in a dance troupe if you're missing your colleagues from work if you're you know even if you don't know anyone in that scene like my international hockey women one um yeah there were some people from my team in it but mostly i just posted on facebook groups and instagram and wrote some people that i didn't even know and just said hey want to do this with me and i met a bunch of amazing women through that so definitely if you're thinking of doing one or even if you're not i I hope you'll start thinking about doing one after watching this video because it's a lot of fun and I have a bit of video editing skills and stuff like that but you really don't need as much as I have to make one of these okay I'm not gonna get into all the editing and all that stuff hopefully someone in your group or you can figure out iMovie or splice those are the two programs I like to use iMovie you can get on your Mac or your phone that's what I usually use for all my videos to edit but for these because they were on my phone and they were vertical I don't know I just found it easier to use splice so that's another nice app you can get so to start what's a don't rush challenge don't rush some people call it pass the brush some people call it don't rush you've probably seen it someone just woke up they look all you know very natural and just like themselves just waking up or getting out of the shower they put the brush to the thing and then they reveal a brand new them blowed out hair makeup I think it started kind of with makeup people and stuff like that so um, I don't usually do that type because I'm not a big makeup person <laughs> I've done ones where I change into a hobby or whatever I like so I did one where yes no makeup no hair whatever I put the brush and I become a belly dancer or I did one also with the hockey I used a puck so you can really use anything you want you can use you know get creative right like you could use here's an eggplant you could use an eggplant if you're a chef or something you could use I don't know hand sanitizer <laughs> for these times you can really use anything I've used a hockey puck I've seen all sorts of things people are getting really creative and you don't it doesn't have to be the same thing every time you can really it just makes it a little more difficult to coordinate if you you're all using different things and stuff so if you want to be basic just stick to the brush or one object that you decide like for hockey I decided a hockey puck would change us into hockey players right and what makes it really interesting is if you can be very different okay so if you're gonna become a hockey player let's say maybe look really girly and like whatever evening gown cute little pink outfit and then you go like this and you become this hockey player and as for the belly dancer one it was kind of the opposite I wanted to look kind of like not so feminine and not made up and just like uh, like I was eating Nutella in that one just like hanging out here in the kitchen and then put the put the brush up and I become magically a glamorous belly dancer right so whatever you're turning into try and look really different for the one before and tell your people that so how do you get your people they're either your friends so you know them and you just write them and say hey want to do this you're 
online friends, maybe they're on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, write them, say, want to do this. Or maybe they're just people you don't even know. So reach out to a group like dancers or writers or some sports type people or whatever it might be, right? I'm, I'm just thinking of the things I do, but <laughs> think about photography, like whatever, and try and get really creative with it, right? So come up with an idea of what's going to happen. Okay. So usually something's thrown at someone. Okay. Something's thrown at the person. The person is here. They do this, they turn into whatever, and then they throw whatever the object is to the next person. So figure out what it's going to be, right? With hockey, I use the hockey puck. With belly dance, we did the brush. Outlining it for your people is very important. So I like to have a page just written. This is what you're going to do. You need to specify where they're passing to and where they're getting it from, right? Or else you're going to have a headache when editing. Now, I like to leave it kind of free so it's not always the same. Of course, always the same is easy. Say, pass from the right, get it on the left. Or you can do up and down, drop it down and get it from up, right? Uh, that's easy if you just keep it up and down or left to right or right to left. Just have a thing and make it like you must. That keeps it simple, but it's not as interesting. So I like to have, you know, this person gets it from here. She might throw it down. This person gets it here. They might give it, but it's a bit more to work on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you want to be daring and work a little bit more, do that. That way, People can talk and be like, I'm going to throw it this way. You catch it this way. You throw it that way. I'm going to. So then you have to kind of talk between the people or give like three options maybe or two options and then kind of hope it all works out. <laughs> you can also throw forward, right? And catch from forward. We did that a lot in the hockey one. So let the people know what they're supposed to do. Are they catching from here? Are they throwing from here? And make a demo video for sure. So make a video of you doing what you expect all the participants to do. Okay, so do a little demo video, send that with all the instructions. On the instructions, definitely tell them amazing lighting, stand in front of a window, that's always good, or just somewhere really well lit and get a good angle with your phone, either have someone help you or set it up. You know, mine is just sitting there on a ledge, on a windowsill. A lot of people will say, oh, I have no one to help me, so I can't do it. But you know what? I had no one to help me with any of mine. I just, I think people aren't thinking they can just throw something at themselves, but you just throw it at yourself. I'm just throwing this at myself. And then you just edit out the part where you see you going like this. You just get that part or you throw it up and you catch it. And it can be hard. I've been hit in the head a lot by makeup brushes and hockey pucks. Um, <laughs> making all these videos, I definitely have. You know, it comes with a price, but it was all worth it. Getting hit in the head, a makeup brush is all worth it when you have a beautiful video. So if you're alone, know you can do it on your own, okay? I did all of these all on my own. No one was throwing them to me. I was throwing them to myself. <laughs> it takes some practice, right? But um, just throw it up and catch it. Have it at the side and catch it. Or you can even make one where it's like this. You just reach for something like, oh, let me get that brush. You know, it depends. The more creative the video, the harder it's gonna be to explain to people and outline. So if you're just starting, just go for a basic, up and down or left to right. Make sure the people know they catch it. It's coming down, they're catching it. They do something, they put the thing to the thing, they reveal, so this is another video, they reveal how they are, and then they throw it down to the next person. Make sure you let people know also that the place to do the cute thing is usually not before the throw. So a lot of people, they tend to wanna drink, do things, and then have it throw at them. That doesn't look so good, I find. And a lot of them are like that, I understand. That's how some people do them. I think it looks better. Someone throws it, someone catches it right away. So. I tell my people, throw it at yourself, catch it, or have someone throw it and catch it, then do something, whatever, have your drink, do something, and then do this. So that's your time to do a fun thing. Then you reveal you can do something else fun. You can 
party, do whatever you want, and then throw it. So on either end, don't have an action because it looks really cool when it goes here and then someone catches it right away, right? So send your participants all what they have to do, the lighting, make sure to tell them if you want them to film it landscape or portrait. Typically these are film portrait and I've gone with that, but if you're doing it mainly for YouTube, it really is better to do it landscape the wide way. Not many people do that. They usually do portrait, I guess, because it became famous on TikTok. And then you can share it on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and it's the right way, but it looks stupid on YouTube. So <laughs> I guess pick your thing, whatever your main platform is, film it for that. So for YouTube, of course, landscape is best. For everything else, pretty much, vertical is better, okay? So usually it's done vertically because I think this is a big TikTok thing. You can tell your participants that they either need to edit their clips together, which makes it simpler for you, but a lot of people don't know how to edit two clips of videos together. So if you're okay editing everyone's together and, and cutting and speeding and doing stuff, then just tell them it's okay. Just send the rough clips to me. How to send, send them through email or WhatsApp. I just heard WhatsApp kind of makes it a little less in quality, but I always found WhatsApp to be a pretty good quality thing to send it on. So I usually have people send it on WhatsApp. I just heard a recommendation that if you send it through email or like Dropbox or something, it's better. Definitely, definitely don't send it through iMessage. Um, like a messenger type thing or Facebook or any of those things because the quality will decrease, okay? And we don't want to keep decreasing the video quality as we go. I would recommend getting about 10 people. It's usually fun with 10. I did one with, I don't know, 30 something or 40 people. That was a lot. <laughs> so depending what you're thinking of, I think 10 is a really nice number, a little more than 10 even. Under 10, uh, depends. And keep them short and fun and quick. And don't be scared to kind of speed up some parts. So if you're using a video editing thing like Splice or iMovie, just speed up some parts. Like if someone's doing a lot and it took a long time, speed it up to make it a little quicker and fun. Each person's thing should be like, I don't know, 15 seconds maybe, 20 seconds at the most, just to keep it going. It, it's nice to keep it short and crisp. So I'm not gonna go into all the editing. Look that up if you don't know how to use iMovie or Splice. They're pretty easy to figure out. Just adding media. Of course, you wanna edit out the, the start when you see people doing things before it comes if they haven't edited it. And uh, just shortening and making it clean and fast and fun. I like to add everyone's Instagram handle, name, where they're from, something with their clip. So ask them all to send, you know, where their hometown is or their name or their Insta handle, whatever you want to put on there, or maybe you want to put nothing and just put it in the comments, all the people's names and links and all that stuff. There's the decision on the music that you have to make. So most people use Don't Rush, the song that made this all famous by uh, Bugsy, what's his name? Bugsy and someone. That's what most people use, you know, the one. Some people opt to use a different song and I've thought about that many times. I've thought like, should I use another song and do this challenge, but to a different song? Cause like for hockey, I want to use a hockey song, but I've stuck to that song. I just keep using that song. So if you're a YouTuber, it will have copyright. You can use the Don't Rush song or you can use anything you see fit, really. Don't feel you have to use that song. I kind of felt like I had to use that song though. <laughs> Just to be a part of the Don't Rush challenge, right? But you can use any music, put any music to that or sound effects. I What I did for mine was I used the Don't Rush music, you know, that song. And then I kind of added little flourishes of whatever we were doing in there. Like for the hockey one, I added like a hockey buzzer in a few times throughout the video. And then for the belly dance one, I added some belly dance sounds like drums, just so it would be a little more that thing. And the other thing is of course, outtakes. Make sure you tell your people to send you outtakes because outtakes, I think they're the best part of the video often. <laughs> so outtakes are awesome. Um, Make sure people send you outtakes. I always make the mistake of not telling people until later. And then they're like, oh, I already deleted all my outtakes. And I'm like, oh shoot, sorry. So tell them right off the bat, 
want funny outtakes don't get rid of them send them to me and then at the end of your video you can make a little outtake reel i hope this helped i mean basically figure out what topic you're doing have a strong interesting topic that you're interested in and you feel passion for step two find the people they might be your friends they might be people you don't know online that you just found for this and now you have new friends then send the instructions where to send their videos how to do the videos an example that you've made hopefully have a deadline for sure have a deadline like a week from when you put it out or two weeks or whatever it is i'll usually give a date has to be in by then usually people wait till the last minute so don't worry they'll come <laughs> and if people haven't sent them in i usually write them last minute like hey last chance i'm doing this tomorrow if you want to get into it and then edit the video on splice or imovie or whatever program you like to use i don't recommend editing it on TikTok. I just find it really not user friendly, especially if you're not used to TikTok. So I wouldn't edit it on TikTok. And then also you have their stamp on your video afterwards. So I would use Splice or iMovie. That's my recommendation. And then of course, upload the video all over Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all your platforms tag everyone in it and i like to send the actual copy of the video the original video to all participants so they can also post it on their platforms and stuff like that and uh, i guess that's it have fun with it i hope you all have a great time making these it's really fun it's fun to get everyone together and just have this experience together through this especially now that we're all at home and missing each other in all our um, jobs and passions and hobbies and whatever we do outside of the home so let me know if this helped let me know if you do one link it up down in the comments and i'll check out all your amazing videos that you make i hope to make a few more definitely there's so many awesome ones out there so look around at inspiration and get inspired like see what other people are doing i made the mistake of not looking at other people's before i did mine i only saw a few i didn't actually see so many and now i've seen a lot and i've got so many more ideas now you can have fun you can throw different things you can change the object halfway you know someone could pass a cup to someone and that person might drink it do stuff whatever and then pick something else up and pass that to the next person you know so you could throw clothes at people they could land on them and there's all sorts of amazing TikTok transitional like cool things you can do get really creative if you want to and if it's too much like just stay basic and don't get so creative like just take it easy and just do one thing throughout and and it will work have fun with it hope this helps talk to you soon guys